Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, today we're going to talk about the uh, on off heater control with PLC. So I have a simple circuit here where we have an AC power, it can be a 100 volt or 200 volt, uh, volt uh, range. I have an MCB here. I have a control relay here, I have an overload relay here, and a heater, coil, a thermal coupler, and an AD converter. Okay, so there are other, there are another two more elements here, start push button and a stop push button, where I'm not showing in the circuit, but it will be connected to a PLC. All this also will be connected to PLC. And this. And next, when we essentially when we turn on the MCB and we have the system started with our start push button depressed and whole system is energized. Okay, this contact will be closed as shown here and the AD will give some response to the PLC. Next, as shown here, the feedback will be in digital, but in a real uh, value, it will show you a decimal point. It can be a real number or it can be an integer number. Then our programs will turn on and off depending on the set point that we set in the PLC. This will be the waveform of the temperature. It, it will slightly overshoot. You can expect this from an on-off heater control. Then if there is a problem with the circuit or if there is an overload, then the overload relay will open. Then the system will stop heating up. Okay, we will go into the program environment. Now we will start a new project. We will select this and click OK. And then the rest of it same what we need to plan is we need the start push button to be turned on overload relay to be cutting off the system we need a push button also to be cutting off the system as well and we need an output for this and we need to latch this output so I will plug in all the variables required. Okay, this is the heat up push button. This is the overload, which is coming from the overload relay. And we have the output. Okay, essentially we'll paste it here. Okay, this run is complete. Next, we will want to turn the relay on. So we will need the system start and then we will need to be cut off by temperature reach feedback and we have an output to the control relay okay this circuit is complete next we will have system start. We will introduce a comparing instruction here. And then we will cross check the feedback and the set point. This one we will choose real or we can even choose integer. have the set point we will choose also as an integer and we will have this coming up from this compare so this is a greater than keyword in this uh, PLC programming development and 
uh, we will start to test whether the program is working we will select the simulation mode and we will log in and run in the start okay we will write a value for the heat up push button turn it off so you can see the start has started the heater is on okay we will double click this and put in the temperature example we put in 90 degree we'll write a value to see what will happen okay nothing will happen the heater still turn on then we we'll put in a value example 50 here we'll write this value in okay. still the heater maintains we will still change the temperature will still will go up we will write this value okay the heater on now when we change to 91 then we will write this value as you can see the heater turn off what if the temperature goes back down again we update this value the heater turns on as you can see this temperature will ripple above the set point and below the set point as shown in this now just if you wanted to elongate or you want to reduce the frequency of the waveform we can add timers so next this is what we're going to do so we're going to log out from here and we will introduce a timer okay, on we will call it on delay it has the timer interval of two seconds we will introduce another one more round and uh, we'll copy this we have another normally open which is coming from here and we have a timer here we will call it of delay which also have two second time interval and finally we have an output we will call it temperature reach but with a D denoting is a delayed and we gotta paste it here now we will test the whole sequence again login run as you can see we're gonna start the heater turns on as before we have a set point of 90 write the value okay now what would happen if the value exceeds one you can see anyone we're gonna write this value and see so you see temperature reach the heater has been cut off after two seconds what if the temperature goes down to 90 and we're gonna write this value again off okay. after two seconds the heater turns on back okay this is essentially where the temperature the frequency of the temperature we have reduced it okay so this is how this is done and this is the program for it okay thanks a lot for your Time. I do hope you enjoy this video and um, watch for my other videos coming soon. Thank you. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell icon and share.